Jones, and it's coming up next. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. The Falcons ready to go to work here on offense, and at the helm in his second season, Charles, it's Desmond Ritter. And no excitement, unless, he, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers, because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he and threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. On second down, Ritter. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, this Washington defense, Charles, terrific in the victory a week ago. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because... Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football but at the same time you're looking at them and going where are the weaknesses how are we going to move it one of the top defenses in the nfl for a reason we just saw one example right there throwing on first down but this one winds up to be incomplete now Carr, after the incomplete pass brings him up second and ten he'll look to throw and that's going to be incomplete. You talk about this Falcon defense. They enter this one number 13, Charles, in the NFL in stopping the run. I still crack up a little bit after we left our meeting with the defensive coordinator. Because I said to you, stop me if you've heard this before. <laughs> How about him saying, well, first order of business, we got to stop the run. Of course you do. He's got a good unit. But facing the number one rushing team, they have to stop that in order to have a good performance. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll Let's take go. that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and the Commanders are going to get the football here at their own 40-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about it. he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. First carry of the game for Brian Robinson. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Of course, the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Looking there for Pitts, but intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. 
That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And they brought the pressure there just right up the gut, didn't they? Yeah, they certainly did. And, you know, when you've got so many different ready. responsibilities as an offensive line, you got to deal with the nose tackle, the two defensive tackles or ends, and then sometimes you just can't ready. account for everyone. The linebacker slipped free. Under pressure, they got him again. Jonathan Allen, the former first-round pick, getting in there to bring him down. So when you have good field Let's position to start a drive and you give up back-to-back -back sacks, that can be demoralizing for a team. Go. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They set up the screen to Hill. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And Washington will have it on the turnover on downs. On first down, Carr. Got this complete to Jahan Dodson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Car going to throw. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backside of the backfield. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. A nice performance last week. Recognized as NFC Player of the Week after going over 100 yards rushing. I just love the vision. I love the wiggle he has. I also love the power when he ends his runs. That's what impressed me. Yes, there was some elusiveness last week. A couple times he just ran over guys. Now the throw on third down. Knocked away and incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down secondary and swat that one away they'll go for it it's Carr escaping the pressure right and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over Ron Rivera the gambling type but he comes up empty here and the Falcons defense stands tall they'll get the football back Ritter and the Falcons now with a first and ten at the 33 yard line He'll set up the throw from the gun. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Less than a minute to go here in a scoreless first quarter to this point. Check, pink, blue, check, black one. On second down, Hill, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. And that is incomplete. How about the show put on by these two defenses in this first half? The fireworks don't have to be just offensively. Neither one of them giving an inch. And that's good coverage once again there to force another fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Now it's Crowder. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. No score after one on EA Sports. Washington with a football here to begin quarter number two. 
As they've got it with a second and 14 upcoming. Robinson, he'll try the left side. Shedding the tackle. There he goes, left side. He may go. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., with his 13th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Commanders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. You get in a second and long situation down here in the red zone, I'd say most defensive coaches would think pass. Let's bring some pressure. So this is kind of a tendency breaker here to hit him with something on the ground, and he'll take it all the way into the end zone. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Atlanta now That's coming great. out on the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. A complete to Drake London. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Ritter will set up to throw it. His throw incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Back to throw, Ritter. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Ready. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Ready. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Crowder now to return. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Brian Robinson, Jr., making his way back onto the field. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here into week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets him on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You let them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding? But how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We scored. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. Out there set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And this is going to be a commander's first down as the tackle made at about the 38. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Robinson up the middle. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. 91 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
Now they'll throw with Carr. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. Down right around the 25. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Offenses all over continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball. But oftentimes, it attracts a little bit of extra attention, and it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. Sly able to put this one through, and they jump back in front here. It's 9-7. to seven. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Yeah, and sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Atlanta offense now, ready to take over here. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Here we go. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Check. Yellow, check, pink, blue, check. Up the middle, it's Hill, able to power through. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Come on, Second down and a little more than a yard here. Ready, ready. Here's Ritter. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. But this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. They tried to the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Ready? Ritter back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive alive. Ritter. And he cannot avoid the pressure as the Washington pass rush gets home. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. On third down, here's Hill. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On now to punt, here's Bradley Pinion. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. 
And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19 to throw his car. And his throw is incomplete. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. On third down, Robinson. And a short game there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Taken from just outside the 30. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with great starting field position and a couple of timeouts at their disposal, they'll certainly have the green light here. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. So we have reached half. Message received here. No need to wait. We're going to skip halftime and get right back to the action. Here comes the third quarter. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. So here is Washington now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 108 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Here's Carr. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Richie Graham. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. That is a tough way to start the third quarter. You get the football open to drive it down, put it in the end zone, and take the lead. Instead, they give him the football. And I think the key here is for them to not get discouraged. That is not how they drew it up, not how they saw it in their mind. But there's a long way to go in this game. You know, they've just got to find a way to come back one play at a time. Yes, it's a cliche, but they can get it done. Now second and five. Ritter now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. Here we go. Here Ritter we go. and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. He'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. The Washington offense back out there. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now Carr. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Falcon defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception returned for a touchdown. And this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a little bit. Let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. This taken in at the goal line. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Now Carr. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. Holding offense. Uh, he's trying to protect his quarterback's blind side. Got Still nailed for the hole. You have one job over there. Make sure that man does not get hit. So if you have to hold occasionally, do so because they don't catch all of them. This time they did. On second down, here's Carr. And he slings one that's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know what he thinks going on out there, CD. That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you, no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. That's taken at around the 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards, officially. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. So okay, here are ready? the Falcons to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now Ritter. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, his struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. Ritter throwing on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Ritter going to change it up. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up check even pink. further. Blue check. Black one. Check white. Ritter off the play fake. But it's caught on the right side of Smith. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. Koo knocks this one through the post. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. Koo just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Set to go again. Here's Brian Robinson in the commander offense. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage 
and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. Yeah, it's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Carr looking to throw on third and two, eluding the pressure right. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. He's got his target. That's complete. Yeah, this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive game. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Sacked by Andrew Van Ginkle. Three quarters in the books. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's Washington with the football, but trailing here as we begin quarter number four. Now a play fake. Carr. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Here's a screen for Robinson. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return, and it will be Falcon football. Atlanta now coming out on the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this swim lead. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing on, eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Ritter to throw it. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Drake London, his intended target, and now it's third down. Working from the gun, Ritter. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Taking a couple yards shy of midfield. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And Washington will have a short field here as they take over first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And crossover out of bounds right at the 25. 139 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Back to Robinson now on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball here before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12. First and 10. 
Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Kyle Pitts, his first touchdown on the year. And the Commanders have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So Washington now with an important two-point conversion attempt. Carr will look to throw. Oh, a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted to tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And they no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. They'll wind up losing a full 9 yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Ritter will set up to throw it. And that is incomplete. The defense did their job. Fourth quarter, big stand. No doubt about it because the offense has been yelling at him from the sideline. Just do us a favor. Get us the ball back. Give us one more chance to take it downfield. The defense just did them a solid, it appears. And when they get the ball back, they can kind of play free tie game. They're not behind. It'll be a 39-yard punt. Give them a good 10 yards on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Here now, second and nine from the 39-yard line. Play action. Now it's caught. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Disrupting that play and dropping him was Arnold Evacati. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. To throw, it's caught. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. You talk about a big kick under pressure in the fourth quarter. I mean, that wasn't like a 33-yarder. That was long distance. Not only does it show the faith that they have in him, but also remember, if they miss that one, they're giving up the ball near midfield. So they had to be very confident that he was going to put that one through the post. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So now Ritter and the Falcons down 20 to 17. Just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. On second down, a run with Gibson. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. Third and two. Ready? 
Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And even though he gets out of bounds to stop the clock, it's not going to matter. That first down going to be enough to write a finish to this one. They'll run with Robinson. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Robinson will score. Touchdown, Commanders. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now the intention on the Falcons offense. Trailing in this one now. A minute 35 to go. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw complete to Hollins. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Ritter looks to throw it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it or you start thinking about going to his backup. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Gibson here running out of the gun. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because... We've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. They'll come up first and ten here. Here we go, here we go. A final shot now for Ritter. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull.